Thanks for checking out this extremely special unboxing video. This is not a subscription box. It is horror related. And this is actually a birthday gift that my wife got for me. Uh, it took a little bit for it to get to me because she actually didn't order the gift until she showed me on my birthday what the gift was going to be because I had to pick a variant of what this was. She wanted to make sure I got exactly what I wanted because she knows this is something I've been wanting for a long time. So what I got, well, I won't tell you. I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you where it's from and I'll start unboxing it and then I'll show you what it is. So this is something I've actually been wanting for some time now. I've seen it at conventions a few times. I've seen it online I and I don't know. Like it's one of those things and I'm sure everyone has them where they say, they see it and they're just like, man, I'd really love to have that, but I don't know if I want to spend X amount of dollars. So you just kind of like keep seeing it, you keep saying that to yourself, and then someone awesome, like your spouse, says, you know what, this is a good birthday gift and I'm gonna get it for him. So, here we go. So this is actually done, uh, I don't know if people out there will know this name, it's done by Nightmares Unlimited. Uh, the guy who does his name is Mark Phillips, and he shows up at horror conventions. And um, I think I'm I don't I'm not sure if he if everything goes through Facebook for him, but I I don't remember looking at a website website for him. It might be out there. Just uh, but he has a fake Facebook page uh, where I'm sure you can find all the pertinent information you need. Nightmares Unlimited. So. Just know that, people. Go check it out. All right, so I'm going to pull... Oh, man, it's, it's heavy. Ooh. It's also creating a little bit of a mess because I did not expect this to be on there. All right. I'm going to have to be careful because I don't want to... Oh, my God, this is heavier than I thought it would be. I don't want to um, hurt myself because there's potential. Yeah, there's potential for that. Um, and now people are just like, huh? What do you mean, hurt yourself? Does this look familiar to anyone? This is the... I'm sorry, there's, like, styrofoam. I'll, I'll eventually get all that off, but... I'm um, sorry if it's on there. Try and get it off. This is heavier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be a little more on the hollow side. So this is the, the uh, sphere, the killer sphere from Phantasm. So Mike Phillips, a.k.a. Nightmares Unlimited, makes... Uh, a bunch of like prop replicas from horror movies. He'll do like Freddy's glove. He'll do um, the lament configuration box from um, Hel the Hellraiser films. And obviously he does the sphere from Phantasm. Now I love Phantasm. I'm a huge Phantasm fan. I like all the movies. Yes, even Ravager, the final one. I still like that film. Yes, it's probably the weakest of all of them, but there's stuff to love about it. But this is like, so I've been seeing his work, and the, it's so quality. It's very, it's actually pretty dang heavy. And look at this, like, look at the detail. It looks, it looks right. Sorry, there's a lot of glare. You can see the ring light in it, but you, you get the idea. There's more to this, and I'm going to pull it out. But, uh, so one of the reasons that my wife waited to, uh, until my birthday to, like, show me and say, you pick exactly what you want, is because there are variations of this ball. Uh, there's, it, because... Believe it or not, there are different variations from movie to movie on the ball, even the most basic ball that looks like this for the most part. And the biggest difference on his, on his website or through his business is the shapes of the actual prongs at the end. So I went with the ones from the original, from uh, Phantasm 1, but there are different shapes, like some of them are a little bit fatter. Uh, the, the inside shape here looks a little bit different. I think he also has like two, three, and four, maybe. I don't remember. But he also does like some mashups as well, uh, where he did like a um, reanimator Freddy glove or like a um, lament configuration mixed with a sphere from Phantasm, which is pretty cool. So just some really awesome stuff. I'm excited about this. I've been excited. Uh, let me pull out because I also got a stand for it. Uh, which definitely cost extra because how I mean how are you going to display that without any sort of stand you know all right let me get this out of here without making too much of a mess 
Okay, and I think that, okay, yes. that should. I was going to say that should be it, but okay. So first of all, let me go, go ahead and show you the logo on the bottom of the stand. Nightmares Unlimited. This is made out of wood, and here you have the stand. Looks pretty awesome, right? It's got the uh, the metal rods from Phantasm where you go through, and there's a it's a uh, basically a, a portal to another dimension, another planet. Obviously, it says Phantasm. Looks really cool, and it's like a marbled mausoleum, marbled floor, which ties into the film as well. And you can see where the ball sits. So let me go ahead and put it on here to give everyone the full effect of what it's supposed to look like. I gotta be careful with this though. I don't want to drop it and have it jab into my leg. Check that. How good, how good does it look? I'm thinking I'm gonna end up setting it like back here on my DVDs or something. Uh, or actually I might need something more stable than that to display it, but look at this. It looks really good, but yeah. So that's all I wanted to show you for this. I, I know it's re a relatively short unboxing, but um, what do you guys think of it? I think it looks crazy amazing. The quality on that is outstanding. Um, yeah, the biggest thing to me is I'm, I'm very shocked that it is as heavy as it is, which is actually a really good thing because that'll help make sure that it stays on the display stand. So that's a big plus with that. Uh, I'm really excited to figure out where it's gonna go. I'm very excited for that. So um, yeah, people uh, put some comments down there. Let's talk about it. Do you know about Nightmares Unlimited? Have you purchased any of their stuff? Have you seen them at horror conventions? Let's talk about that. Uh, and if you have seen their stuff, what's your favorite? Uh, or what would you also like to see uh, a company like that put together? Like what would be an awesome high quality horror movie prop replica that you would want? Let's talk about that down here, get nerdy. Also, please hit that subscribe for me. Really would appreciate that. Uh, could help my channel out a great deal. And um, yeah, take a look at Nightmares Unlimited. I already love this thing. And I love my wife. Thank you, Rebecca. You did an amazing job. Thanks for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.